What's happening everybody? Luke Darling here. So I'm super excited about uh, this portion of the training. We're going to get right into how to attract an unlimited and consistent flow of new opportunities. So this is something that you can implement today for free, which is the coolest part about it. And we're just seeing absolutely amazing success from people across the country implementing this. Really, really cool thing is, is it takes literally no tech skills at all. Um, if you have a Facebook account and like you have the, the, the technical ability to send an email, you got what it takes to implement these strategies today. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. Um, no need to uh, do a, a whole dog and pony show. We're just going to get right to the good stuff here. So um, this, uh, the training that we're going to be doing on, it's going to be focused on organic free leads uh, generating primarily from Facebook. So by now, you probably tried generating new business using social media. And for the most part, the, the feedback that I get from a lot of people is either uh, you know, you're getting some results, uh, you know, here and there, maybe they're not consistent or you've tried some stuff and it just, you know, it, it just ended up being squat, you know, really got nothing, no, no fruit out of the effort. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to break down some strategies here today that you can uh, drastically shift um, that landscape for yourself. So the first place that we're going to talk about today is going to be Facebook groups. Um, Facebook groups are an absolute gold mine and you can find these uh, anywhere, any market, uh, no matter where you're at, there's tons, hundreds of thousands of people available that to tap into. So um, there's, there's going to be, for the purpose of this training, there's two main types of groups that we're going to be focusing on. The first one is going to be your buy, sell and trade groups. And the second one is going to be your homes for sale and rent groups. You can see here we have um 35,000 members, 57,000 members, 32,000 members. You can search search your local market and you'll see dozens upon dozens of types of groups like this uh pop up. So you virtually have like an unlimited traffic source that you can tap into. So um with that uh with, with these groups what's really really important about the groups is framing your post correctly uh, in order for it to make to work with the Facebook algorithm and to get the algorithm to work to your advantage. You probably heard that term used before. Uh, so I'm going to break down exactly what you need to do in order to make it work in your advantage. We all know that like uh, that you, you've heard, probably heard the stories of reach going down and down. You, you know, people don't see your post as much. So this is some strategies that we can use in order to make sure that we are getting eyeballs on our post and it's not just going to crickets. So um, if, if you're not familiar, just kind of break down what the algorithm is. The more engagement that you have with your post, the more people are going to view your post. Facebook is going to deem that it's relevant and show it to more people. The more people that engage, the more people it shows to, the more people it shows to, the more opportunity we have. Um, so it's just we're, we're, we're kind of working the system to our advantage. And if you haven't gotten really result, really good results, it's probably one of the reasons. Um, so there's, there's three main components. We got shares, likes, and comments. Um, shares are going to be your most valuable comments and then likes. So that's how Facebook deems the relevance in order to short, share it out to more people. So um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a comment ladder call to action. You've probably engaged in something like this before um, where something somebody says, you know, comment below for more information. And what, what we're doing is we're actually inviting our audience to engage with our post in order to create that uh, engagement and then in turn show that out to more people. And because we're doing this organically, you know, we don't have the ability to just pay, um, uh, you know, we're not using paid advertisement where we can just say, hey, you know, here's five bucks, show it to this many people. Um, so this is the way we can do it all for free. And um, so 
you, you know, maybe you're thinking, yeah, you know, I, I've tried doing some posts here and there and just doesn't seem to pan, pan out. So if you're not getting results like this, uh, 472 comments, 99 comments, um, it's just probably a matter of not using the algorithm to your advantage in order to get that type of response. Um, I'm going to share a couple of these organic posts that you can use with you um, here in the end. And um, so we're, we're going to keep this short. So uh, the second place we're going to talk about too, just an absolute gold mine is the Facebook Marketplace. Um, if you're not familiar, this is like your uh, almost kind of like a Craigslist type uh, scenario where, where you can go on and, and post stuff for sale. Um, anything from, you know, cars to houses to, you know, stuff around your house that you, you no longer want. Um, but it again, it's an absolute free traffic source. And the really cool thing on this is, I mean, you can see here, there's there's literally a place where people are going. They're in the market for what we have to offer. There, there's a place for housing, real estate, and then some super secret ninja tricks that we teach in our in our private coaching group on how to make this really, really sing. But um, there is, uh, as you can see right here, there's a traffic source where people are going to you know to look for what you have to offer so similar to the uh, Facebook groups we must frame these posts correctly in order for them to work for, for them to work right so what do I mean by that um, this is going to follow along more of a structure of like your typical like paid advertisement or uh, direct to consumer offer uh, or uh, so what we're going to start out with, what's, what's important is we want to have a picture of a local home, a good looking local home, um, nothing too fancy or um, it, you, you want it to kind of look realistic. Uh, so start off with something that's going to resonate with your audience and a good looking local home. Uh, number two, we want to call out our audience. You know, if we talk to everybody, nobody's going to listen. So we want to kind of narrow down who we're speaking to so they will have, there's a, an, an affinity there where people are going to resonate that. So we want to make our, our message match our market. And then we want to be able to offer them something of value for them to take that next step. We're kind of, it's kind of like holding that carrot and enticing them to take that next step in the process in order to create that uh, in engagement and for them to take that next step. So um, when we call out our audience, we want to speak to somebody specifically. So for an example of this might be like, um, uh, you know, thinking about downsizing your existing home. Uh, so we're calling out existing homeowners, probably a more qualified audience. And then the offer, get a free list of single level ranch style homes in your area. So that's going to be the offer that's going to match our market with our, with our audience that we're talking to. Uh, then next, we want to be able to actually begin to push people away and qualify them for, uh, because, because of the fact of number five here. So our call to action is there's literally a button right here that is set in that makes it extremely easy for people to just click on this and and become a lead for you. Um, so because of that, we actually want to begin to qualify people and push people away. So we're not dealing with everybody, um, everybody and their mom and actually begin to pre-qualify our leads for us. So ways you can do this is like credit score, down payments, home values. These are qualifying factors in order to attract the right type of people and push away the people that we don't necessarily want to deal with. So, um, you know, this is probably one of the key components to people. You know, you hear people say, uh, I'm not getting any good leads or, or you know, I've, I've, I've tried like tried Facebook and stuff. You know, my leads aren't very good. Well, it's not necessarily that. It's, it's more so to do with just a, a poor offer um, or not, not qualifying people up front significantly enough. Um, and just letting everybody in. So if you have, you know, if you're going to market a, a 2012 Toyota Corolla, you're going to get a bunch of people who want to buy a 2012 Toyota Corolla. Um, so, so this is the structure that you want to follow in order to bring people into your world 
uh, and then begin that con and begin the conversation with them. And this is um, so right here. Here's a couple examples that I'll leave you, and I'll leave you with this, and invite you to our uh, next portion of the uh, of the training. So uh, these are two types of of examples that you can implement today. You know, if you had an extra twenty five thousand dollars to fix up your home, you know, what would you do with it? When people engage with that. And they say, you know, uh, you know, I do my home, my bathroom, my kitchen, you know, this and that. Those are people looking to do, those are good cash out refi type people. Um, and then uh, on the other side of the um, spectrum there, uh, renting, you know, uh, renting for over. And then something that's going to resonate with your local mod audience, you know, typically like a two, you know, the, the typical price point for like a two bedroom apartment or something like that. Inbox me your rent and I'll send you over three homes you could own for that same payment. Um, so you're getting some renters, some homeowners, um, but these are, are uh, two types of uh, posts that you can use and implement in your, uh, in your organic strategies today to start generating uh, free buyers and, and refi business. And uh, so uh, if you like this, make sure that you check out the other trainings um, we, ha we have how to uh, capture, qualify, and book pre-qualify, uh, uh, pre-approval appointments. And then we get into conversion trainings and conversion aspects. And then just an absolute treasure trove of, um, uh, of training, uh, really in-depth uh, stuff that really, really allows people to kind of take their game to the next level. So... Stay tuned. Um, if you like this, let me know. Uh, I love your feedback. If you, you know, in regards to results and stuff. So hopefully that's helpful. And I look forward to seeing you on the next training.